Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to the stairs in Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. So, we're doing this! Basically, because I think it's hilarious. Um, it would be nice if I actually started, like, you know, at the bottom, so I could, well, yeah. We're doing it this way. I think the dialogue is a lot funnier. Although, truth be told, I would probably be better off going in through the front. <laughs> but no, we're taking the stairs. All 50 floors. This is going to take a while. I don't know why. <laughs> I actually got to really sympathize with this. I have done this before with a, uh, with about a 20 story building? I mean, the Shinra building is around 80 stories, and we're climbing up 50 of them. I did 14 floors in a 20-ish story building. It's not really directly comparable, but, well, I was winded for probably a good 10 minutes after running up, up 14 flights of stairs. So, not a really unpleasant staircase, too. Like, the staircases in those buildings, they do not expect you to take the stairs. They expect you to use the, an elevator. So, they don't really put a whole lot of effort into making the staircase look nice. It's like this narrow, concrete pillar, basically. And quite steep, too. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely not Endless Staircase. Right, couldn't it be that. It could totally be that. I mean, I could I think it could be some sort of new, unique form of torture. Don't you think, Barret? Are we there yet? Nope. Are we there yet? Nope. Are we there yet? Nope. <laughs> And Tifa's just like way ahead of everyone, although she still needs to take breaks. We're way, way, way far away from- oh! We have hit the halfway point. That elixir is the halfway point. Or close enough to it. <laughs> it will. We are over halfway up now. Hmm. It would be kind of nice if we could actually see the, uh... <laughs> yeah, well, all I know is I'm only flesh and blood. <laughs> what are you... What? She suddenly realizes she's wearing a miniskirt for some reason. Which doesn't really seem practical considering she she's basically a knuckle fighter. Like, I would think she'd be wearing like some shorts at least. It's just for the best that you stop t counting really. It's too damn tall. That's how tall it is. But... Actually, I'm not counting, so I have no idea what floor we're on. It's only like every other other level that's a actual floor in the first place. Like this would be a floor. if this is a floor, this would not be, but this would be. At least most buildings are set up like that. I'm pretty sure it's the case for this one as well. So, yeah. Although, frankly, it seems to me that this should be enough space for one whole story. But, evidently not. I guess there's extra stuff between each, flo each floor. Like, the ceiling of one floor is not necessarily the floor of the next. 
Or maybe slash that, reverse it. I mean, it means the same thing either way, but anyway. Oh, we reached the top! We did it! Can't talk to them. I never want to see no more staircases the rest of my life. Now, if I wanted to, I could run all the way back down, going through the front entrance and do it that way. I'm not going to do that. That's stupid. But I do actually need to get into the front lobby at some point. <laughs> oh, I would love to do that to troll him, but no. Seriously, I'm not doing that. What I am doing... Yep. Oh. Well, too late. We're in the elevator now. Uh, 20. 19. 18. 18. Okie dokie, then. There's actually... I actually have a reason for this. Uh, that is not it. That's it. At the end of another hard day, wouldn't you like to sit back for a tall, cool one? You can can at Turtles Paradise. Stop in today. There's nothing like a smooth one after work. Okay, then. Uh, I think that's all that I wanted, needed, whatever. Uh, oh, there's actually encounters here. I did not, that did not even click in. Right then. Now hopefully I don't need to fight things on the way back up. Because if you come in through the front, you'll get into random encounters as the elevator randomly stops on different floors. I'm hoping that doesn't happen here, if only in the interest of saving some time. Uh, okay, I actually want to also sneak into here. Right, sure. <laughs> Ooh, cool. Shinra, electric motor. Wait, how did that turn into MM? Whatever. It's a fancy car, okay? Motor mobiles, that's how. Shinra Electric Power Company Motor Mobiles. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Kind of neat, actually. Like, this is a completely superfluous feature. Like, they could have not put this in, no one would have known. And these are, like, well rendered, detailed models. As far as I know, none of these appear anywhere else in the game. Although, on the other hand, hmm. Oh, it is... It's Mako powered. I did not even... I did not even clue in on that, that the vehicles were Mako powered. I guess it makes sense, though. They don't... I mean, Mako is... Well, it's not really like gasoline. I mean, it sort of is, but it's not really. Uh-huh. Really, Barrett? Oh, she, this is actually a shop! Awesome. Okay, well, I'll buy one of those. And nothing else. I don't actually have any money. Thank you, and come again. Forget I said that. No? You, you won't let me open them. Okay. I guess I'll have to come back when you're not around. Or not. Actually, I honestly don't remember whether or not I can open those. I guess we'll find out. But no. It is... You know, there's a lot of vehicles in this room. In this lobby. I just... I mean, in hindsight... That's sort of... That should have been obvious, but... Hmm, go figure. I don't really see why I need to sit through like 5 seconds of this. 10 seconds of this. Too long, okay? 
Anyway, we're back onto the 59th floor, I believe. Destroy the intruders! Destroy the guards, more like. Because you're all gonna die. Right now. Uh, Barret, attack that guy, please. Oh, okay, too fast for limit break. I should use that. Really, Cloud? Really? I am not impressed. What? Uh, there. Cloud, kill him! Kill him! I mean, limit breaks override other, most other actions on priority, so... I didn't really want to hit that guy with Tempest Limit Break, I wanted to hit someone else. It would have been more... efficient. But oh well. Whatever, this is not a big deal at all. Okay, kill them all! No, no, you're supposed to... That's the second time you've missed Cloud in this one battle. Frankly, I'm unimpressed. Okay, no, now Barrett also missed. Are these guys, like, just really hard to hit? Like, do they have high evasion or something? That, that seems plausible. Kind of silly, but plausible. Oh, that reminds me. That reminded me just now. Ooh, I gained him a second limit break. Okay. So... What is it? Key card, number 60. So, TP's limit breaks work a little bit differently than other people. When hers comes up, she doesn't get to select a limit break, right? She gets the hit thing. So it's a slot machine, and as you earn more limit breaks, you earn more slots. Each one corresponds to another attack. So by the end, she's going to have like seven slots. But each successive one also gets harder to actually hit. It gets a field of uh, misses, which the first one doesn't have. Uh, now, there's a reason I actually wanted to come in here. I wanted to make sure I... That's it to wait mode. Uh, I think that was it. Yeah, that should be good. I could probably increase the battle speed a little bit more, but I'm pretty happy with what it's currently set at. Oh yeah, this goes back to the first floor. This is the thing we saw on the side of the lobby. Like, if we had come in through the front, it would have been to our immediate right. It is basically the private elevator for the upper floors of the Shinra building. Yeah, I hope so too. Oh, okay, guard is not doing his job. Also, it's kind of weird that it flick a red light, since we actually have a valid key card. But you know, what else? Wait a second. Didn't we go in the top elevator? Why did we come out on the left? Weird. Okay then. We'll just go in here. Wait, is there anything back here? No, there is not. Okay, so basically, here's how this works. Basically, like so. Okay, how do I signal? That's how. Right there, right there, right there. It's actually really easy. Just, you know, you need to be a little bit patient. Honestly, I could be, well, I could be doing this even more safely, but it's not really necessary. Okay, now in this case, I'm 
tend to be... Whoops. I screwed up. Well, it doesn't actually matter. Fortunately. <laughs> well, I don't think it matters anyway. But I did totally screw up. Whoops. So, you know, let's just kill everyone. Starting with you. You can actually kill these guys before they shed their armor, but it's pretty hard. You Basically, you need to hit, hit them with a limit break to do it. It's the only way you're going to reliably deal enough damage to do so. Okay, uh... I'm okay with that. Hmm. Okay, I'm also fine with that. Now I can show cross slash for re- oh, yeah, for reals. Basically it's like that. Plus it inflicts stop. I may have mentioned that already. So, I don't remember if this actually makes me restart the thing or not. It does. I- it's because I screwed up. Damn it! I don't believe I did that. Actually, I totally believe I did that, but at the same time... At the same time, I am very disappointed in myself. Like... I'm not sure if I've ever screwed this up before. Like, how many times have I done this part in various playthroughs of Final Fantasy VII? I don't think I have ever screwed this up before. I mean, realistically, I probably have at some point, but even so, the number of times I've screwed it up are no doubt vanishingly small. Yeah, just go go to the other one. Uh, there we go. Yep, just uh, there we go. There, oh, that was close. I almost hit the button too soon. Um. Ooh, I almost hit it too soon there again. Okay, I'm gonna just wait for that one. Because I think there's a little bit more time when they're moving places than when they're swapping. Although, I could be completely just imagining that. So, we only have a key card good to 60. Which means... If we were to go up to this floor, say, we cannot go through this door. Or any door on this floor. Having said that, I'm going to climb all the way up to the top, because I think there's an item. I think. Unless I'm misremembering, which is a decided possibility. Okay, that's locked. That's not the item I was thinking of. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Come on, please let there be an item. Son of a... Okay, you know, I'll meet you back at 61. And we're back. I don't believe there's any fights on here, but there, on this floor, but there are fights on some of the upper floors. Just worth mentioning. The lounge floor. Above us are the special floors for the company of bigwigs. Uh, plus also a library, plus also some sort of storage room. I'll give you, the the secret, super secret lab is probably actually for the bigwigs. But her rocket's downstairs. <laughs> Everything above the 60th floor is safe. Yep, totally safe. So? Interesting. I think I already talked to you. I don't remember to see. Uh, yep. Oh. <laughs> the higher ups in the company use the floors above the 60th. But you can't get there without a key card. Get a key card and use the elevators freely. Viola, hear the sound and the door will open. Just remember, there are different kinds of cards. One card alone won't let you go anywhere. Or everywhere. For example. Okay, so, basically, we need cards for different floors, and the higher the number, 
Uh, a card will give you access to every floor below it as well. Uh... Yeah! Haha! -ha! Two more floors! Get! <laughs> the door is broken is why it's open. That's hilarious. Actually, though, I'm gonna stop up here. Join me next time when we continue exploring the depths of the Shinra building. Until then, this has been Kiesbalu with Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, and have a great day. Bye!